Oh, let's stray with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates. Throw off the rest. Watch out for scammers in the comment section. Send today you for reading. That's not me. And I hope that everyone is doing very well. Appreciate all of your positive energy. Your likes, your subscribes, your donations, your support of one another in the comment section. All right. Whoa, that one really fell out. Page of Cups, or flew out, reverse. Someone uh, is either overly dreamy, overly ungrounded, uh, or someone someone needs to apologize. They're really a lot of sensitive feelings, uh, or this could be somebody pretending to say sweet sweet words, just the right words. Um, this could be also a problem with a young person. What does the collective need to know? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Someone someone is doesn't want to commit to something. Someone didn't commit. Someone is non-committal. Someone is irresponsible. Something's slowing down. Um, some, someone is not steadfast, they can't endure, they can't keep going, they're not dedicated. In the subconscious, we have the devil reverse. Someone knows they've really got to release themselves some, from some sort of toxic situation, some super lower vibrational uh, person or addictive behavior. Um, they've got to release some type of jealousy, they've got to um, let go of materialism, they've got to um, deal with a problem, they've got a problem at hand, that's what they know in the subconscious, um, that's what keeps coming up, they could be very upset, or, or someone knows that someone is saying just the right things, but it's not, it carries some real dark, uh, I'm just going to say attachments, but I, I really mean, like, implications. Um, five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse in the recent past. So, some, some, some sort of strife or tension within a group, or this group is in competition, or someone's in competition with you. Eight of Pentacles, Reverse, someone's doing something real petty. This could be someone losing losing a job as well, or doesn't know what they're doing at work, or they're not paying attention to detail. Um, there could be a lot of fighting going on because of it, um, because of this tension. It could be causing strife within a group, or this is somebody being petty towards you, um, or trying to block you from working, um, or someone could have lost their job, um, and they're in competition with you. Um, this is a lot of meaningless, petty attention to detail and a lot of fighting or competition or rivalry. Um, bad vibes, someone could be projecting at someone else who's in competition with them um, or in competition with you. Someone could be in competition with you and projecting at you, doing a lot of petty things. Uh, maybe take it under your skin. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Um, so, I'm not sure which of these. I feel like they might all go together. They came out in a strange way, but we've got King of Pentacles reverse, Three of Swords reverse, the Emperor reverse. So this could be two different masculine energies. Um, one is, it could be one masculine energy who failed to lead. Um, they aren't good at business, they're failing at business, they're losing everything, they're not managing people well, uh, and they've just got to overcome this heartache. Or they're, because someone is not heartbroken, they don't get to lead. Um, it can be really brokenhearted too, uh, because someone over these two masculine energies as well. Um, two, two 
true masculine energies who aren't leading the way or someone here could be very corrupt, materialistic, do illegal things for money. Um, definitely need to clarify. Near future for the collective. Yeah, near future for the collective. I feel like there's a lot of heavy projection going on as well. Eight of Swords, somebody's stuck or trapped. Psychologically stuck, stuck in a situation. Eight of Wands. Someone could be reading messages or watching something or moving quickly, traveling fast. Someone could be falling in love, sending a message, um, watching something online. Page of Pentacles reverse in the environment. Someone here is up to you know up to no good or block you're trying to block an opportunity or block potential block an offer block a proposal or they're not getting a proposal or an offer um knight of swords someone's worried so, someone's got to move fast or this person feels like they've got to do something quickly or they someone's worried about someone being courageous or moving quickly um outcome six of cups so this is happy memories. This is someone coming back from the past. Um, this is unconditional love. This could be even a new connection that feels very familiar as well. Um, this could be something, something from someone from childhood returning. Um, so we'll clarify that. Eight of cups under the deck. So we've got someone who's walking away or someone who needs to grow emotionally. They need to master, they need to master their emotions. Um, or someone's walking away. That's, that's, this is all about some, someone leaving. They, they need to grow. Someone's growing emotionally. Um, child nature, so there, this could be about a child. Someone could be doing something behind the scenes. Um, they're trying to s use words to sway someone. They could be making up lies. This person could be a storyteller for a living. This person could be very voyeuristic. They could be trying to see or look or find out what someone's doing that's alone. Um, they could be trying to use people's um, common connections to find out information they're definitely gossiping there's a whole network of people they're trying to use people to make up lies or talk about someone um they could do it in a way that seems lighthearted, um but they have a way with words um they could be trying to sway the way someone feels romantically um especially as it pertains to starting something new Someone here could be a writer, or someone's plagiarizing someone's work. Yeah, thief. Someone trying to steal someone's work. This could be someone who, at some point, was supposed to help someone, or you helped this person. This is an energy vampire who has a god complex. Yeah. They feel like they can control you somehow. They think very um, mechanistically, whoever this is energy vampire that's very controlling that has a god complex that i mean this could be more than one person um but we're just gonna focus in on there are some romantic feelings someone stole something somebody definitely has a way with words here um with this gossip network or they're trying to take advantage of the fact that someone likes to spend their time alone they could be very Introverted, someone could be introverted, but not in a bad way, you know, I, sometimes I don't think the word introvert is bad, but people sometimes like to make it into something, and that's exactly what this is. Someone could be sort of projecting something onto someone else. Yeah, doing something behind the scenes to um, affect somebody else's reality with this group of people or how people think about someone. Um, Definitely trying to negotiate something behind the scenes in their favor. Um, definitely, they've got some sort of a hidden agenda. They've got a way with words. They're trying to do something. They're very voyeuristic. 
Um, they could be making up lies, or they definitely have stolen something. They're trying to steal something. Um, talking about someone badly, um, but doing it in a way that is lighthearted or seems like they're making jokes or something. So it, the person walks away getting a bad taste in their mouth about someone but it's almost like they feel like they came up with a conclusion themselves about you. This is something that could have happened in the past, um, or this is what we're dealing with now with this person. Um, someone talking about you. So, I mean, trying to block an offer or something, or trying to block a proposal or an offer, so this might, have to do with this has to do with money um courthouse yeah this could be legal issues or they're trying to sway public opinion about someone yeah i feel like somebody i got that feeling earlier i got that feeling it sort of just hit me and then it went away it was like somebody was saying something and there was someone else who change the way they felt because of something that somebody said and I feel like that's what this is someone said something um okay so page of cups reverse someone here is sweet talking maybe um privileged lady reverse okay so we've got like a karmic feminine energy here who could be trying to sweet talk someone or they're saying something in a light they could be speak you know batting their eyelashes or making jokes or, I mean, it's possible someone's crying because they're, they've lost something here as well. Um, I need to clarify who did this type of thing in the past, or they're, they're doing something underhanded behind the scenes, trying, talking about some, someone, talking about you. Knight of Pentacles reverses the problem. Someone's really non-committal or someone is, courthouse reverse someone doesn't want to go to the courthouse or they try to stop someone from committing to going to the courthouse uh, the devil reverse someone knows that they've got to shake this person or whatever this is message reverse hmm, I'm not sure I have to clarify what that is in the recent past some type of strife within this group um, Someone doing something real petty that's in competition with you. Or maybe trying to stop you from working. Journey. This could have been on a trip. Or it's focused on your life path. Um, intentions. Sometimes someone's recovering from heartache over these two masculines. Um, who are not leading the way. Thoughts. They want someone to think this way. Eight of Swords, someone's trapped in the near future over a gift, over your gift, something they're trying to steal. They could go to jail. It could be spiritual jail, or they tried to take something that's your gift. It was your download. It's your talent. It's your um, blessing. It's your connection. Uh, it's something meant for you. And someone may, they, they're taking some action here and then they're trapping themselves and this is gonna happen really quickly. Um, Eight of Wands, there's something about a message. Yeah, it's this karmic feminine under the deck. Eight of Wands, message. Okay, so it's a message. There's something about a message that they're looking at or watching or sending or going back and forth with someone with messages, um, making up lies, maybe this is an email or I don't know if they're sending, receiving, watching, not sure yet. Page of Pentacles reverse. Someone's trying to block an offer. Um, poverty reverse or someone's not getting the offer. Knight of Swords. Somebody's 
afraid someone's going to move quickly. This false person. This false person's afraid that someone's going to be bold and courageous. Um, outcome Six of Cups. Someone is returning from the past or there's some feeling as if there's unconditional love. Distant horizons. So some sort of like connection from it might even feel like a connection from like another world or this has to do with traveling or something someone returning online someone reaching out to someone online or this has to do with someone traveling maybe even overseas to see someone or someone traveling with a child um house reverse someone could be leaving a house because we got eight of cups under the other deck Someone's, someone wants to leave a home. Um, okay, so what do we need to know about this situation? Okay, yeah, we'll use these first. So someone, I, is this person sweet talking? Page of Cups reverse, are they crying? Or does someone want to apologize about this karmic feminine? Or someone trying to sweet talk someone and say you're not it. Um, what is going on here? Privileged lady reverse, page of cups reverse. Fake flexing. Rejected. Someone can't keep fake flexing. They don't want to be rejected. Or someone who's not fake flexing. Something about a karmic feminine. I don't know if they're trying to say this about you or this happened to them. Let's keep going. So, Knight of Pentacles reverse, Courthouse reverse. I will definitely clarify. Cyberbully. Okay, someone's bullying someone online with a message or doing something online. Someone someone seems real irresponsible doing something online. Bully okay, someone either someone doesn't want to continue they're not they don't want to continue bullying someone online. They don't want to be held accountable for something. Or they don't want to go to the courthouse about uh, bullying someone. Or someone doesn't want to continue. Or someone seems very irresponsible for doing this. Bullying. Deep down someone knows they've got to let go of this bad habit, this bondage, this darkness connected to whatever this message is. Maybe they shouldn't be sending this message um, to try to take you down. Someone's obsessed, they've got to let go of trying to do this with this message, trying to block a message. They're dealing with someone that is doing this to try to take you down. Something's real toxic here, deep down someone knows that. Um, I feel like someone's trying to talk, talk badly about you what's new right but we're gonna get the details to find out who this is and what this what this reading's about so someone's in competition with you five of wands eight of pentacles reversed doing something really petty or maybe trying to stop you from working or this person could be trying to say you don't know what you're doing you don't have the skill set journey on a trip um, played out so I don't know if this is what they're saying about you or if this is, they're mad because everything is falling apart and they're in competition with you. They could have lost their job or whatever they were doing on this trip. It's just meaningless and petty and people are done with it. Um, I mean, I, I feel like what's happening is that someone shouldn't have bullied you and they're, they, they can't keep pretending like they're in some type of position of, of power or clout or they were trying to get you rejected. It didn't work. They, they look really irresponsible for trying to bully you. 
they're in competition with you, they're mad that something didn't play out, they, they're still trying to do something here, but deep down they know they need to let this go, they're sending some type of a message, that's what I really think is happening, um, but I'm just being conservative with, with that reading until I get more clarification. Um, it's definitely somebody here who makes up lies and try to steal something from you. Um, and it has to do with like your network. Like you might know some, there could be a circle of people here that you know that they know, or it affects you somehow. They're trying to bully you, but doesn't, it's not, something's not working for them. Uh, but I know they're trying. Um, if, if they, if they said something new, and they change someone's opinion about you that you don't know that well because that person would then say, hey, this person said this or that about you. Um, so if this is like slander, that would be something that would like alter the course of your life or a connection or something like that. Then this is def definitely illegal for one, especially as it has to do with business. Um, so there's going to be karma for this. Uh, and I feel like that could be what this is. They're trapping themselves, but let's keep going. So something about someone is thinking or someone wants someone to think that both of these masculine energies have failed or someone feels like both of these masculine energies have failed and someone's overcoming some type of heartache. This is okay. They're upset about something. It's their ego. Someone, whoever, okay, so this is a karmic feminine. Maybe they were involved with two masculine energies, a king of pentacles reverse and an emperor reverse, who went along with whatever they were doing here. Someone could be leaving a house or losing a house or losing a business or leaving a business. Like some sort of physical, you know, brick and mortar store or like an office building or something like that. Maybe they, someone's moving on from this situation that's real irresponsible bullying someone and they can't keep pretending like they've got they're living the life because it's out and people don't respect this person, privileged lady reverse, who tried to steal something from you. Now they're in their ego because everyone knows that these two masculines went towards this person that thought that something was fancy. And both of them are doing terribly King of Pentacles reverse, Emperor reverse. This could also have something to do with someone's in their ego because this King of Pentacles reverse is moving on. This could be somebody who is very corrupt and there could be an Emperor reverse who's very dictatorial. So it could be less about failure and more about these two masculines moving on because they didn't get what they it's embarrassing or humiliating or they didn't get what they thought they were going to get out of this there is something about other people's noticing and so your gift is in the upright here and someone's stuck or trapped stuck or trapped bankrupt Someone went bankrupt trying to steal or block or hinder you and something that's yours, that's yours, that you're a blessing. Someone went bankrupt. Really makes me feel like that's what's going on here. This privileged lady reverse. Everyone knows that either they were stealing like they come across as um, like criminal or they come across as like, I'm trying to think what words to use. Oh, 
I'll come back to it. Um, this person has lost the gloss. They are not... It makes it worse because if someone had been more genuine and just been what they are, well, then maybe these people wouldn't have gravitated towards them. Maybe they're losing a house. Maybe they they were trying to get, or they could be losing a house, and now everybody knows that these two masculines failed around this person. Um, someone's going bankrupt, and they've trapped themselves, or they're bankrupt, and they're, someone's going to jail. And it makes it worse. It's like they were fake, faking a lifestyle or faking who they are and they made it such a big lie that it it makes it puts a real bad taste it's um the battery went out and this legal issues fell on the floor when i was thinking about this future position and about somebody they don't want to answer any questions They could have made their social private or their... They don't want to be judged or held accountable. They don't want people to ask detailed questions about whatever they did with this message as well and these lies and trying to steal something. I feel like people don't even know, like when they find out fully what this person did, Okay, so I feel like it's them that's played out. Um, this could have been someone in the past that did all of these things to you. I mean, they could still be trying to say something. Just, I keep feeling though like they're still trying to persuade someone. But everybody knows what they did. And they made such a big lie. And they did such a, like... They were trying to make themselves, they were very condescending and try to make themselves like they're better than you and like everything's a joke. There's something about every, something's a joke and there's, they're like, you're like insignificant and it's funny and, and, but also trying to paint you out into this like real bad person. Uh, but now it's the exact opposite and it's the fact that the lie is so big and how they achieved what they achieved or, or that there's nothing behind the curtain here. Um, it just, it's like puts a bad taste in the mouth or it's just real uh, off-putting. Eight of Wands, message of concern. Maybe this is a message that someone's sending or someone's watching something or someone's texting. Okay, so they're looking you up. So this is like on a phone, probably messages or looking at something online, eight of wands, message of concern and looking you up with a picture of a phone. They could be looking at your social as well. Fishing for comments reverse came out. Um, you might not be on social media or they can't seem to find anything. Um, or, or they know that people are now looking you up after what people are finding out what they did. Especially with this message. Page of Pentacles reverse, poverty reverse, trying to do bad business here, block an opportunity, block a proposal, block a potential, um, or they're not getting an investment in something. Maybe this is like the final someone maybe they made a promise to someone they made something seem better than it is like they've got the, the power or they've got the answer they're like they've got all the answers but really there's nothing there uh, maybe people are real disappointed here by something maybe someone thought they were going to get out of poverty someone made promises to someone um dodging bullets reverse yeah someone might have been in trouble and this person made promises that aren't they're not, um,
it's not going to work or they're not getting this this offer or someone could be sick as well knight of swords false person someone's worried someone's going to move really quickly um about someone being fault because they're false or they couldn't produce what they promised or because everybody knows or because it's um obvious now creep in reverse someone's got to move fast to pretend like they weren't watching someone or someone's going to blow the whistle i'm not sure six of cups distant horizons something about a connection from the past where there's unconditional love maybe there's some sort of a connection like a soul connection or someone's traveling to someone um or telepathy two people have telepathy or there's a new connection or someone's traveling or there's something online between two people something's going to come off be online um, blocked reverse someone might unblock someone or someone from the past is not blocked where there's unconditional love this has a lot there's like a lot of online social media and stuff like that in this reading we have thief under the deck so this is definitely about someone who tried to steal something from you and it's someone who people i think see as a thief it's like there's another word besides criminal there's like another word that I, i'm just not thinking of we have thief here we have thief here fake flex and reverse they're trying to pretend like they have a lifestyle um and because the, the whole thing was such a big lie and they were trying to take you down and bully you um maybe this person overspends or they were you know they weren't they might have acted like they really knew what they were doing as well and maybe someone met them at a certain time where they had a lot and they they drank the kool-aid and all it did was anyone who got involved with this person either believed their lies and came for you or thought something was real funny because they believe something about you but then they get to find out they participated in something really gruesome or that you know this person could have stolen money and that's how they had money for a short period of time and were able to afford maybe nice things um, or they were trying to steal something from you, this gift. Trying to steal this gift from you. They went bankrupt. Now they're going to have legal issues. And I feel like, yeah, there's, they're definitely being found out. And there's... They could be trying to... Someone's got to move fast to act like they weren't watching you. Or they want to watch you really quickly because they don't want someone to know they're watching you. Detective, yeah, they're trying to figure something out. Um, let's see. You're not rejected. And everyone knows about this person. They could be crying. I don't know if they're sweet talking or yes, they're they're afraid. I think they're afraid. They tried to create some type of. They tried to do something maybe on this trip where they made some promises, trying to compete with you. Um, You're too wise for something. You saw this coming. You saw this. You saw very clearly what was going on. So, and also, you, you might come across like a real queen of swords energy. Um, someone was trying to make you out to be something else. There's something about love where somebody was real non-committal and someone was trying to bully you. 
and they don't want to go to court and they were trying to bully you, bully someone online. Deep down someone knows someone shouldn't be sending this message or shouldn't have sent this message. Something is very dark here trying to take you down. They shouldn't have done this. Um, something about being very narcissistic. Or the fact that you're very noble. Or it has to do with a masculine energy. Someone trying to take you down with a message it's very toxic someone shouldn't have done this or try to block your messages block your soul's message in the recent past something was played out being in competition with you and doing this petty thing on a trip or your life journey um, someone was trying to make progress they did something very, um, like they had the answer and I feel like they got everyone involved in something, but it f failed, it failed, it, it failed and it's a real ungraceful way because they did it, they made it larger than life and it failed maybe on a trip I don't know if they were trying to say you're played out, but whatever they did, it backfired. Now they're in their ego because both of these masculine energies want to just get over this heartache. They're in their ego because it's they want to leave this situation trying to steal something and everybody knows that these two masculines, if anything, it really just turned these two masculines into like the worst versions of themselves. More controlling, less of a leader, more corrupt, not getting what they wanted. A lot of ego here. Um, they're worried. Yeah, these two masculines want to let go of the hate in regards to you. They just want to move on and start to grow from the situation. They don't want to keep going. They don't want to commit to trying to bully you. Um, in the near future, somebody here, legal issues, bankrupt, stuck, jail, trapped, whatever. It's not good at all. And your gift is still intact. And it's, they did all of this. There's something about romance. Or someone wants to come towards you because of this gift. Romeo. <laughs> so someone wants to come towards you because you have this gift or they see you as a gift and they could feel trapped. They could have gone bankrupt and be dealing with legal issues and want to come towards you. Um, or somebody's worried that this person wants to come towards you or this person who was faking it, could be going bankrupt and be dealing with legal issues and someone wants to come towards you. Uh, could be some someone new, a date, or this could be someone from your past that doesn't want to be trapped. Um, we have masquerade ball. There could be something about a party involved or someone could be wearing a mask. Eight of Wands, someone's looking you up and researching you online, um, looking at your social media maybe. Someone can't take immediate action. They're, they can't take, they're, they can't see, see comments. Um, someone's not getting this offer. They weren't able to dodge these bullets to try to get out of this money problem. Um, It's a double-edged sword, whatever this strategy was. Yeah, someone was strategizing and they made like a big thing out of it to get, like they finally had the answer and people gave this person their faith or they went into something and it made them look, I feel like it, they feel like it made them look stupid or they didn't get something they, they promised and they've been already dealing with some type of hardship here. 
and they follow this person one more time. Somebody was resisting. They shouldn't have followed this person blindly, and it's in the environment. Um, they shouldn't have followed them blindly at all. This karmic feminine um, who was just trying to get revenge on someone um, or following blindly on some type of a counter attack or trying to get compensated for something, uh, it didn't work. It didn't work. It, something backfired here. Someone got people involved and th it had to be a bold step enough so that it's like this time they did something where they were more in the forefront about taking these actions and so it was a bigger stumble. It was more of a, a vi visible stumble and there was people, yeah, people in, and the stakes were higher because there's monetary loss a lot of trouble already and they followed this person and it didn't go through trying to get revenge trying to follow some and very throughout this whole ex thing they shouldn't have been trying to bully you someone shouldn't have been trying to get revenge on you someone shouldn't have been following someone blindly trying to get revenge on you or attack you or punish you um and that's they can't dodge the bullets from what they tried to do here or, and it's not going to get them out of poverty. And someone's worried about um, move, someone moving quickly that's false, trying to pretend like they weren't part of this. Um, solitude. To Someone needs to calm down, listen to their inner voice to reduce anxiety. Someone's worried. Someone could also feel like if you... If they, if they aren't, like, causing you strife or trying to create anxiety for you, that you'll have some solitude and you'll move faster without them trying to block you. Um, they, there's something about someone being rejected. Um, or they could feel like they're, that these people don't want to work with them on whatever this is anymore, or that someone wants some sort of solitude. Um, Six of Cups, someone's not blocked anymore online. Unconditional love from the past, returning. Banishment. Severing ties, protection from further injury. So, someone's severing ties. You could be severing the ties and there's something about someone Maybe someone was trying to get you banished and you're not, this has to do with someone trying to banish you and you're not blocked. And it has to do with someone from the past where there's unconditional love, something happening online or some type of like energy um, or someone else is getting banished and you're not blocked. Um, or someone is trying to clarify something in this, someone's clarifying some, that something was a big huge lie here and it had to do with you being banished or but it's backfiring because the six of cups is in the upright um, it's a real sweet energy that can't be um, it just can't be faked it's something's real there there is something real there um, I don't know though if this is someone from your past that went into agreement with bullying you or if there's a new person that feels very familiar, or there's something about memories from the happy memories from the past. So let's just do one more pass. Um, so someone here, I think another thing is, is like someone read you wrong and you saw what was going on this whole time. You called this early. I feel like you, and you're very cold to someone um, because of this, um, this, this evil eye, all this evil eye, someone was giving you a lot of evil eye and actually what happened was, is that you got a spiritual upgrade because of it. You became, um, I feel like you, you come across as cold to whoever these people are, but it's like you gained a new layer of like maybe fortitude or clarity or steadfastness or you're stronger 
somehow you're more discerning or something like that, but it's, you aren't, you haven't hardened your heart. Your heart is open to the right people or environments because we have that in the outcome. So whatever someone was doing here, trying to fake flex and get you rejected and all that stuff and block you, all they did was expose themselves for who they truly are and you got a spiritual upgrade and you saw this coming and people see you as cold, but but they see that um, it benefited you and someone was trying to bully you because of love. Um, you could have a darker complexion than this person or they could have a darker complexion than you or they could have been upset about your complexion. Um, you could be a public figure, or they could be a public figure, or be connected to a public figure. Um, or they don't want to go to court because of a public figure. Something could be happening as soon as next week in regards to this. Something to do with someone spying on someone. Or that's why they're spying on someone. It has to do with bullying you and not wanting to go to court and some something kind of love involved here and um, someone coming across as very irresponsible or trying not to commit to someone or trying to block someone from committing or someone trying to slow someone down. A public figure. Um, Deep down, they shouldn't have done this. This very toxic thing, especially connected to some sort of message or blocking a message for you, trying to stop you from self-actualizing. They know they shouldn't have done this. Brainwashed. Someone feels like they were involved in something that... They feel manipulated that they shouldn't have done this or they feel, yeah, it's something to do with trying to block a message. They need to let go of this attachment. Brainwashed. Tell me about brainwashed. Someone's not thinking for themselves. Um, they could go to jail or prison for this. It's big. It's a really big deal. Someone should not have followed this person blindly. They did something here to make a big deal out of something and it failed in the recent past, maybe on a trip, in competition with you, doing something real petty. All it did was expose themselves because um, they did it in public or they did something bigger or more forward. They were more bold. They made some sort of a promise about something coming soon. Um, Regarding a mother, there could be a mother figure here, um, and, a, and a court case. Someone was being real petty, a mother figure in a court case, um, having to do with business corruption in the justice system. So they were doing something, they could have taken a trip, doing something very petty, Eight of Pentacles reverse. There were a lot of rivalry or acting out of competition. There's some sort of business corruption in the justice system, court, court case, business corruption, justice system, court case. They put a lot of effort into something here, but it's played out though. Whatever they did, they made a big deal out of something. It's almost like the only step would be to, you know, like, this is a, a, the only analogy I can think of right now. Like if you were a jewel thief um, and you stole jewels the night before um, and then to, throw someone off the case, you come in and look at jewelry the next day when it, during opening hours. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's a very good analogy, but it's like they put themselves out there somehow 
to make it, they had to make a bigger, bolder move in order to make something go their way. But because of it, it backfired harder. That they felt like it was like the perfect plan or something like that. And that's how they got everyone involved more, more excited or like they backed them more on something and it made it worse for themselves. It's like upping the ante. They upped the ante. They... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like in chess or something like that, making the one big m move where it seems like there's no way out for the opponent, but it's a big, there is no, there are no moves left after it. And it seems though like the perfect move, but they made such a big move that it drew attention or it, made the loss bigger or something like that. I think you get it. So someone's in their ego about these two masculines failing or wanting to stop doing this. Um, news, trades, media. This could be, okay, because we have a public figure here, so. And there's something about someone being a stalker or stalking someone. So someone's worried about appearances and I think like this group is dividing sides. Like people are trying to say they didn't participate or they're going to move quickly to clean their hands of it, uh, to, I mean, make themselves look better when this comes out or reconcile with you because of when this comes out and they don't want to be held accountable someone doesn't someone doesn't want anyone to know that they were part of something they were watching you and someone's in their ego that these people want to move forward Or someone might try to use some type of like publicity. Uh, they might want to, they're in their ego because these two masculine energies, they're embarrassed. And everyone knows these two masculine energies didn't do well in this situation. They could be in their ego about also the way that this comes out. Like if this is some type of a separation of a group, they're in their ego because they're parting ways or someone could be thinking about how to make these other masculines look bad because they want to remove themselves from the situation entirely because they're failing. But it's like people already know they're failing or they failed in this alliance, but there's going to be more coming out and there's some type of a separation and an ego going on with these two masculines and this karmic feminine. And someone's mad that someone doesn't want to be part of it anymore, but it's embarrassing or it looks irresponsible. It's like pot that we have spying here as well. We have stalker, we have public figure and something about someone's love life and someone like following someone online or stalking someone or a public figure stalking someone or someone stalking a public figure with this group. And, um, somebody here is going to either go to jail or they're just stuck. They've got themselves really trapped, especially with legal issues and bankrupt because there's something else about stealing here as well. And we've got this house reverse. So I don't know if there's a house someone tried to take from you or this just is a dysfunctional house. There's definitely something about these two people or someone moving on eight of cups from a thief or moving on from trying to steal. They might want to try to compromise or try to like get themselves out of trouble, how they participated, even though people already know 
if they failed in an endeavor or in business or in this alliance, it's embarrassing. They shouldn't have followed blindly. Everything was about getting revenge. And now someone could go to jail or or they're just stuck. They can't, they have no move. Someone doesn't have a move to make because they're going bankrupt and they're gonna be, someone might wanna come to you before you sue them with like romantic energy or or there's something, someone's worried, something to do with someone's love life too is involved here. Um, someone's got legal issues, they're going bankrupt that could be coming towards you. Or someone who is going bankrupt is worried someone else is coming towards you. Someone here is mentally unstable. They could be stuck in their head. Um, uh, stalker again under the deck. The stalker here spying and creeping. There's definitely something about somebody. I don't know if somebody who's mentally unstable that's like <sighs> spying and spying and watching you all the time is the one that's bankrupt, having legal issues coming towards you, or trying to come towards you before uh, the legal issues, because you could sue because something could come out. They could have tried to steal something from you. Um, I don't know if someone's trying to use romance to sway you away from suing, or... I don't know. So, someone who's mentally unstable could be coming towards you, or someone who's mentally unstable because they're worried about someone coming towards you, um, and they're going bankrupt. This romantic Knight Romeo. I've got two romance cards here with all this bankruptcy and legal issues and jail or being emotionally stuck and someone here is mentally unstable something about a car is important as well i don't know if someone wants to if there's a car evidence regarding a card or someone has needs a car or they're using their car to come near someone something about someone's health is car their health Someone could have lost their car, they could be in bad health, they could be having legal issues, they could be completely bankrupt, they could be mentally unstable and potentially going to jail. I mean, or one or some of those things are with the people that they're involved with. I, I feel like maybe someone going through all that could be coming towards you, or someone's going through that as someone's coming towards you. Eight of Wands, someone's looking you up, or maybe a lot of people are. Strange strangers and odd neighbors. There's even people that you don't know looking you up. This, that's why someone can't take immediate action. It has to do with other people, like no, no, noticing something here. That's why they can't take something about someone saw the signs here, or somebody has is speaking something about reconciliation, saying something about reconciliation. People are watching, there's strangers looking you up, um, watching you maybe online or reading a message about something. Somebody shouldn't have tried to get revenge here and they're trying to get out of poverty. They shouldn't have blindly followed. They can't dodge these bullets. They could be taking a fall, or this is happening in the fall. Yeah. It was a bunch of lies. They followed someone blindly that were there was a bunch of lies. And it's all out because this is the environment position. We have this false person um, who could be trying to pretend like they're not watching. Someone, someone's trying to calm down or they're Something about someone trying to calm down their anxiety. Um, someone's worried someone's going to move fast or they've got to move fast and not, and be less anxious. They're worried. This person's obsessed. A false person is obsessed. They've, they've got to calm down because they can't see something or they can't watch right now. Or someone's worried. They're, they're obsessed. They've got... They, they don't want to be known that they're watch people to know they're watch watching you all the time. They've got to calm down. They're in a, they've got to calm not be anxious. Everyone's gonna know they're obsessed, or someone's gonna tell. Someone's gonna move quickly and 
tell people, or everyone's going to know, or there's something about you being in, in solitude, or they're worried that they're obsessed that if they can't watch you and disturb you, that you're going to move quickly and courageously. Someone's going to move quickly and courageously. Traffic. This actually might have to do with driving in a car. Someone's worried about... Someone's got to calm down. This could have happened over the summer. Or, uh, someone regrets something they did in the summer. They've got to calm down. They've got to calm down their nerves. It has to do with watching you all the time and being obsessed with you. Um, something about your solitude having to do with your career, which is spelled wrong. <laughs> uh, and your reputation. You could have brown eyes and hair. Um, or they can, and you're in the public eye, or they're in the public eye. Um, celebrity under the deck. So they're in either a celebrity, or you're a celebrity, or they're involved with a celebrity. And it's like, they've got to calm down. Everyone's going to know what they've been doing. Wow. Outcome. Something about someone being banished. Someone could have tried to have you banished from some, some, this has to do with someone who tried to create all this noise and distractions around you, um, getting banished or going on here well you love yourself you practice self-love in when you're alone or in solitude you don't mind solitude um, people are realizing someone's a fake good person there's something about the way that if someone tried to have you banished someone got you they got you twisted, they got you, they misread you, you practice self-love, you got a spiritual upgrade from this, someone was sending you all this, they tried to have you banished and were sending you a lot of bad energy, they could have stolen something from you, spying on you all the time. Someone could go to jail or prison, there's definitely defamation here. Um, this is a big deal as far as the people involved because these are public figures. We've got public figures, celebrity in the public eye, um, and someone tried to steal something from someone here, and that's why it could come out in the news or the trades or the media, definitely online. And there, there could also be something about people finding out something about how you, how you... I want to say not overcame but how because you don't look at it that way I'm not saying you didn't deal with a lot but there's something important about you liking your alone time or you practicing self-love this um, in your alone time crown chakra you getting these downloads and meditating and enjoying your your alone time and there's something about that Maybe you traveled a lot during this time, or there's something about travel happening. Travel. Well, this could be some type of a travel, like even astral travel, your crown chakra, and self-love during your alone time, and some sort of connection between someone. And But it's something about your spiritual strength. It could be physical travel, or something about someone from the past where there's unconditional love, a connection like even like like from another lifetime there's some real strong connection we have celebrity again under the deck so I'm, I'm not really sure um i know there's definitely someone in the public eye involved and um there's something about and this the way you handled it a lot very discerning very intelligent very graceful this is like queen of swords energy You've got something to say to us, your throat chakra. You gained some more clarity. You really grew through this situation. You practiced self-love during your time of solitude when someone tried to have you rejected because you're not rejected. Someone was trying to have a lot of people hating on you. 
as well. So you dealt with that. And you dealt with business corruption. Someone kind of stolen something from you. Blocked your message. Blocked your soul message. Blocked a message of yours. Whatever it is that you created that comes, you feel like a download from the divine as well. Whatever your soul message is, your north node, someone could have tried to, you know, make you feel, um, what's the word, like, tied down, like, you know, like you're going to burst because you can't actualize. There's something about someone wanting to block, they are purposely trying to keep you back. Out of, they were trying to gain something and steal something, but also getting some kind of weird pleasure out of constantly dis disrupting your, your peace. Um, and having others hate on you and stealing something from you. There's something about this thief. So, and you can't network or negotiate because everyone thinks something because it's all based on lies and with some sort of revenge. So they really try to have you isolated here and lose access to money, lose access to what makes you feel alive and good. Like you're in alignment with your her soul's purpose um and someone here is real mentally unstable there's going to be something coming up about that in the near future and um definitely something about i don't know if people get answers or or there's something that is about something about the fact that your self-love during alone time and downloads and crown chakras <laughs> Something about that and having to do with unconditional love and the outcome that's in regards to being banished or something like that that is um, real significant and about being unblocked and people trying to distract you or create a really a situation that's very unpeaceful, really trying to disturb your peace, watching you all the time, weird stuff, and trying to steal something. Um, and there's a celebrity involved and maybe you are, and they are both celebrities or one of you is, or there's multiple people involved, but, um, yeah, they try to stop you from stepping into your power. Um, yeah, someone definitely feels like they could go to jail or prison for what they did from my multiple things, but this devil reverse and brainwash, someone definitely feels like they were like, manipulated in like an energetic way, in a dark, a spiritually dark way, and they weren't thinking straight. Uh, or someone wants to use that as an excuse. All right, if you resonate, I hope that it helps. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.